EA Sports just broke their own game, and we're going to talk about why and how the meta is going to shift even more to man coverage with the latest release of Zero Chill and really a key uh, key takeaway from this. So if you take a look here, we have uh, Mahomes, LTD, and then Cromartie. This is the one that I want to really hit on. Um, and really, if you take a look here, I think, I don't know if it'll show in this, in this uh, thread, but basically here's what happened. If I come back over here, you're going to see a lot of comp players um, complaining. Here we go. So if you take a look here, um, you know, Mr. Football 88, really good Madden player. I think he's actually in the Ultimate Wild Card uh, live event, right? So a top, top, you know, at least top 10 Madden player in the community this year uh, and has been for the last couple years. Listen to what he says here. How come Inside Shade is 2 AP on Cromartie but 3 AP on Diggs? Let's take off the kid gloves and give all DB archetypes 2 AP Inside Shade. Let's have some fun, right? So basically, here's the deal. Most of the comp players know at this point in the game that man coverage is significantly, significantly uh, better than zone coverage. And if you just scroll through Madden Twitter, you're going to find that, you know, a lot of, you know, what we're seeing here is going to basically, you know, kind of justify this reality. So I want to talk a little bit about, let me see, I think I'm trying to remember who put this out. Um, somebody put out a tweet that basically said this is a significant shift in the meta and the right um, because we were kind of starting to see a little bit of a shift to a zone based meta. Um, but what I'm going to show you right here is it, here you'll Mills. This is who I was looking for. The ability to put four inside shades on the field will be the worst thing to happen to Madden gameplay this year. Ask online CFM players. He's 100% accurate because inside shade is literally basically. Uh, one step ahead now i'm going to jump over to gameplay here and i'm going to actually show you the what's going to be the best defense in man 23 so uh, the meta is significantly shifting we're going to jump into practice mode while we're doing this uh we're going to show you also uh something kind of neat in terms of how to get two controllers if you didn't know how to do that uh you're going to find that out here really shortly now i personally prefer to do this out of um, the 4-6 playbook, just want to let you know what playbook been. You can also do this out of the Diamond 4-6. You can do it out of literally anything, okay? It's not like a big deal uh, as far as what you come out in. Now, if you think about the current meta offenses, most of the most of the meta offenses in this game, they are consumed around basically a what I call uh, what's known as 11 personnel. 11 personnel basically means there's a running back and a tight end in the formation. Trips tight end, that's true. You trips, that's too, that's true. Tight, that's true. Bunch, that's true, right? Pretty much every meta formation in the game is going to have that personnel grouping. So what that does is it significantly um, affects you from a per from what you're going to call defensively. What do I mean by that? What you're going to call defensively is a formation that can actually match personnel if you're going to do it kind of the sim way. But also, specifically, this applies a lot to man coverage because what will happen is now you kind of simplify your defense. And I'm going to show you what, that, what this all means um, real quick. So Bunch... We'll start with bunch, and then we'll go through some of the meta offenses. Bunch, uh, bunch tight end, U trips or uh, tight. Some of those different formations. So let me give you an example. So in bunch, um, let's just use bunch trail. Okay. So the more inside shades I have on the field, the better my defense is going to be significantly. So what I would want to do is I would want to have inside shade at least on my slot corner, and then ideally inside shade on the other two corners in the defense because those three corners they're going to basically cover the three best receiving threats on the offensive side of the ball then all we have to worry about is the tight end with our user or if we have a you know a safety that we can put in there not to mention ko abilities are super super good so all we're going to do in coaching adjustments is we're going to put uh, basically just put this to match that's literally all you need to do and then you're going to come out in the play cover to man this is the best play in the game right now so as you can see here, we have really good alignment from a defensive perspective. The only thing that was really causing cover two man to even have any kind of problem, right? Just simply shade underneath man was really two things. Um, it was a corner route from the inside receiver um, or it was the tight end. Well, if I walk this linebacker off the edge and I man him up on the tight end, you're going to notice that he's going to play the tight end really, really well. And then if I want to drop this guy down here, now I'm in a really safe coverage defense that can also be a pressure defense. So if they're consistently putting their running back on a route, I'll show you an adjustment in a minute that's going to really stop that well and also be a really good blitz. Now, this defense is already out on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to literally everything over there, as well as all of the updates. We will be updating this specific ebook um, with some different coverages and things like that uh, to kind of revolve around really the shift that we're going to see um, just in terms of what abilities you can have. So anyways, 
bottom line here, um, if you take a look at this defense, is there's really not going to be much open. The only thing that could have a chance of getting open is that corner route. But again, that's where your inside shade is going to go, or that's where your deep route knockout player is going to go. So the other thing about inside shade is if these guys all have inside shade, that actually, if you take a look here, if the ball was on the right hash mark, let's say everybody on the field has inside shade, like from my man coverage perspective, then what you're going to notice is that's going to literally account for the entire bunch offense. If this guy has inside shade, he'll be able to play the tight end really, really well in man coverage. If this guy is inside shade, he'll be able to play really well. If this guy is inside shade, inside shade same thing, and even the same thing over here um, on the left side. Now pair this with the second setup, which what we're going to do is we're going to just simply blitz this guy off of the edge, and then we're going to man up and do the scissor adjustment, right? So now we have a really good blitz to pair with our incredible coverage defense, and this is how the defense is going to be absolutely incredible for you. Now, again, if you want to learn the ins and outs of this defense and also be able to stay up to date on, you know, the, the current how we're going to actually put some coverages behind this new meta shift where, again, man coverage just got a thousand times better with the latest update, specifically shaded underneath man coverage. I think that's significantly better. Make sure to check out the Patreon. We'll have everything updated for you there. Uh, the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys over at the Patreon.